brothers and sisters Allah Azza wa Jal clarify to his prophet and to all his prophets and messengers the straight way to know him the straight way to believe in him the straight way to connect with him and make this clear also in the divine books especially in the last one which is the Quran and Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned at the end of the longest surah in the Quran Surah Al-Baqarah at the end of this and it's very great ayat Amana Rasulu bima unzila ilayhi min rabbihi that the Prophet believe in what Allah revealed to him and all the believers believe in the God and his angels and his divine book and his messengers and we didn't discriminate with any of his messengers and the meaning of believe is not something in the heart no it is not faith and believe is something in the heart but also the action coming in the same coming in the same way so it is an action and feeling it's an action and believing and to believe in the prophets and messengers what does that mean that mean we should have an action we should know their biography we should know the wisdom behind their calling to allah how they worshiping allah how they build how they call to Allah how they worshiping Allah all of these we have to know and understand and understand the wisdom behind this and have this connection with them spiritually and mentally and religiously for this reason Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned a lot and a lot about the prophet and messengers it is not stories just the stories no it is not it is Uh, knowledge it is a way to live it is sign to the straight way we reach the prophet Ismail alayhi salatu wassalam Ismail is the father of prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam Ismail is the prophet whose his father Ibrahim brought him and plant him in Mecca with this place without any food without any agriculture without any water without anything he put him in nowhere nothing in this place why because this is and this place is the spiritual center of the world this place is the knowledgeable center of the world This place is the religious center of the world. For this reason, Ibrahim came to this point. And this is the revelation of Allah. Because when Ibrahim put his family in this place, his wife, Hajar, asked him, where are you putting us? Where are you lifting us? And you turn away and you leave. And he didn't answer. But after that, she asked him, Allahu Amarak, did Allah the Lord ask you, order you? Yes, it is. This is the idea. It is an order from Allah to put you in this place. And Allah knows for this reason. He put his baby child in this place with his mother for this reason the quran talk and told us what's happening what's happening later and in the ayah number 125 in surah al-baqarah the ayah 125 in surah al-baqarah وَإِذْ جَعَلْنَا الْبَيْتَ مَثَابَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَأَمْنَا when we made the house the Kaaba place of return for people and security security spiritual security and 
uh, real security, security for everything. From the age of that time, nothing killed in Al Kaaba. Uh, no animal, no bird, no hunting. No, this area is secure area for everyone, for everything. And take from the standing place of Abraham a place of a prayer. Why Abraham? Prophet Muhammad live in Mecca. Prophet Muhammad make tawaf in Mecca. Why? Of course, Prophet Muhammad, our beloved Prophet. But Allah would like to give the importance to Ibrahim. He would like to told us there is a history and this history connected step by step and stage by stage. And also it is for the rejecter at that time, the importance of the grandfathers and the, the, the importance of the father, because you know, tree is a root and start from the root. And at the end, there is a fruit. But from fruit to the root, all the system connected. And if there is any disconnection, all the tree will corrupted. And here Allah Azza wa Jal told us the tree of Iman, the tree of spirit, the tree of connection from the first part to the last part. وَإِذْ جَعَلْنَا الْبَيْتَ مَثَابَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَأَمْنَا وَاتَّخِذُوا مِنْ مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُصَلَّى And you take from the place standing where Ibrahim stand as a place of prayer. وَعَهِدْنَا إِلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَاعِيلِ Now, now the mission started. The mission started. The father and the son. The teacher and the student, side by side, shoulder by shoulder, hand in hand. وَعَهِدْنَا So we charged Ibrahim and Ismail. What to do? Purify my house. Purification. Purification is fundamental thing in Iman. Fundamental and essential thing in religion. Purification. For everything. And who? Who doesn't love purification? Who doesn't need purification? In everything. In the place. In the clothes. But what is much more important? In the heart. In the moral. In the soul. And we charge Abraham and Ismail. Purify my house. For those who perform tawaf circling around the Kaaba and those who are staying for worship and those who bow and prostrate in prayer. Prepare the place, prepare the environment, prepare everything to be ready. Why? To become closer to Allah. And in this, there is a sign. There is a sign. Everyone in his house should have a place, pure, clean, with a nice smell. And this is for worshipping. Alhamdulillah, today most of the people have uh, huge houses and big houses. Okay, let's have this place. This place is the mosque of the house. This place is the pure, no one enter this with any dirty thing. It's clean, it's nice. For this reason, why to have this spirituality and this purification? And we listen to this ayat and to see how close is Ibrahim and Ismail. How close. And how Allah give the order for both of them. Not only Ibrahim and Ismail. Why? Because this mission should transfer from generation to generation. All the mission, it is not only for the old generation. Everything should coming from generation to generation until the day of judgment.
until the day of judgment. For instance, how the father and mother has children and the children then they will have family and they have children. How the system going on? In the same way, in typically the same way how they have children how, and also the understanding, the knowledge, the spirituality should move from generation to generation to generation. And this is the meaning of this ayat, how Ibrahim and Ismail working together, how Ibrahim and Ismail uh, building and purify the place together. وَإِذْ جَعَلْنَا الْبَيْتِ مَثَابَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَأَمْنَا وَاتَّخِذُوا مِنْ مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَاتَّخِذُ وَاتَّخِذُوا مِنْ مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُصَلَّى وَعَهِدْنَا إِلَى إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَاعِيلَ أَنْ طَاهِرَا بَيْتِي لِلطَّائِفِينَ وَالْعَاكِفِينَ وَالرُّكَّعِ السُّجُودِ When we made the house a place of return for the people and security and take from the standing place of Abraham, a place of a prayer, and we charged Abraham and Ismail, purify my house for those who perform tawaf, circulating around the Kaaba, and those who are staying for worship, and those who bow and prostrate in prayer. What does that mean? That means that a prayer is from the beginning. From the beginning, there is rukua, there is sujood, there is tawaf, there is hajj, there is prayer, there is fasting. All the five pillars in Islam is pillars for every religion. religion. Unification, believe in one God. Believe in one God. Prayer, fasting, pilgrimage, charity. And believe in all prophet and messengers of the God. This is the pillars of Islam. And this is the pillars for every divine religion. And after this ayah, we move to the second ayah. Allah mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah, it's ayah 127. 127. In the ayah 125, they prepare the environment. They purify if there is any statue, if there is any idols, if, if there is anything dirty spiritually or uh, materially, they remove it. And now, after they clean, after they clean, now they start with building. And this concept also in the spirit, spiritual concept. And this is what we call uh, in educa spiritual education, what we call التخليه ثم التحليه first of all you evacuate then you sweeten first of all you clean your heart from anything except Allah then your heart is ready to receive the nur of Allah so now Ibrahim and Ismail first of all they purify the place they clean the place they prepare the place and now they build وَإِذْ يَرْفَعُ إِبْرَاهِيمَ الْقَوَاعِنَ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ وَإِسْمَعِيلِ And Allah mentioned Ismail, the idea, generation after generation, continuity. All, everything should be continuous, should be going on. وَإِذْ يَرْفَعُ إِبْرَاهِيمَ الْقَوَاعِنَ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ وَإِسْمَعِيلِ رَبَّنَا تَقَبَّلْ مِنَّا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ And when Abraham was raising the foundations of the house and Ismail O oh Lord accept from us indeed you are the hearing you are the knowing and as we said before that Allah asked them Allah uh, ordered them to do this and their response okay that's it no after their response and after they did what Allah asked them to do, they make dua. Oh Allah, accept from us. You are the all hearing. You are the all knowing. 
you are the hearing, you are the knowing. For this reason, in any work, it's a rule. It's a rule in any work in your life. First of all, you have the niya that this work for Allah. Whatever, whatever, you can make any work you did in your life for Allah. If you are going to your office, if you are going to your hospital, if you are going to your work, to your business, yeah, it is for Allah. You have to feed yourself, you have to feed your family, you have to take care of the people around you. But if you didn't make this niya, it's okay, it's up to you. You are the loser. You are the loser in this case. Any work, if you sleep, if you eat, furthermore, if you pray or, uh, or if you make ibadat. But two most important thing, the beginning and the ending. The beginning is the willing, the intention that is for Allah, for nothing else. And the ending is, oh Allah, Accept from us, Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta sami'u al-alim. O oh Allah, accept from us, you are the hearing, you are the knowing. Now, Ibrahim and Ismail raise the building. Now, they build the Kaaba. They build the house. They build the masjid. They build the religious center, they build the worshiping center, they build the Islamic center. Okay, this is the physical building, and this is very important step, but it's a step, it's still a step. And after that, they ask, they ask Allah Azza wa Jal that we need generation after generation to believe in this and they make great dua, both of them. You see, step by step, together. Rabbana, O oh our Lord, waj'alna muslimayn lak. O oh our Lord, and make us Muslims to you, submitted to you, have full obedience to you. وَمِن ذُرِّيَّتِنَا And from our descendants, from our children, a Muslim nation, a submission to you, submitted to you, and show us our righteous, our uh, worshipping way, our ibadat, our nusuk, our rights of worship, and accept our repentance. Indeed, you are the accepting of repentance. You are the merciful. So, وَتُبْ عَلَيْنَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ Accept our repentance. We have to ask Allah Azza wa Jal. Unfortunately, this is ayat in the Quran, but the people forget. Allah told us, Allah give us story. The hero of this story, two great prophets and messengers, and they are the uh, grandfather and the father of all the religions we have nowadays. And two important steps. First of all, O oh Allah, accept from us. You are the all hearing. You are the all knowing. The second one, O oh Allah, accept our repentance. Watub alayna. Accept our repentance. Indeed, you are the accepting of repentance. Yes, indeed, Allah, the accepting of repentance. But do you know what is the problem? The problem when we forget to ask him. The problem when we just remember one time a week or one time a year or one time. In every step, in every finishing of work. Furthermore, your willing is this work to Allah. Your work, whatever it is, is not completed. It's not completed. No one offer 100% prayer. No one offer 100% dhikr. No one offer 100% lecture or uh, so for this reading. For this reason, we follow our work after we ask Allah to accept it. We ask Allah to forgive us. 
to accept our repentance. وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم. Two important dua. Two important dua. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم. Our Lord, accept from us. You are the hearing. You are the knowing. Second one that O oh Allah, accept our repentance. Indeed, you are the accepting of repentance. You are the merciful. In this way, you build. You have the niya. You did your work. You ask Allah Azza wa Jal to accept your word. You ask Allah Azza wa Jal to accept your uh, repentance. And this is not only for you. It is for you and for your children, for your uh, descendants coming generation after generation after generation. ربنا وجعلنا مسلمين لك ومن ذريتنا أمة مسلمة لك وأرنا مناسكنا وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم And you know what? And this is what we see in front of us. إبراهيم عليه السلام إسماعيل عليه السلام and the Prophet Muhammad عليه السلام and generation after generation all these connecting in one chain all of these walking in the same way all of them on the straight way and after that after that after they told us how to prepare the house after they told us how to build the house after they ask us how to be polite with Allah and completed our work by ask Allah to accept it and ask Allah to forgive us now they start the spiritual building first of all they build the physical building they put the wood and the uh, stones and the marbles and the chandelle everything but now they start the knowledge building They start the spiritual building and they ask Allah, Rabbana wabath fihim rasulam minum. O oh Allah, send among them a messenger from themselves who will recite to them your verses and teach them the knowledge of the book and teach them the wisdom and purify them. This is the pillars of any Islamic work. of any religious work the book nothing from outside the book the book give us the way the book give us how to walk the book clarify to you the straight way some people put the book only for baraka some people take the book only for decoration how can that be it's the word of allah it's the only lonely thing we have from our creator How you put it away and you take the opinion of this and the opinion of this because I cannot understand. Who tell you, you you couldn't understand? You can understand. And if there is any problem, you ask. And this is like any subject in the university, in the school. You read and you learn. Uh, some people uh, today study medicine. Medicine a lot of knowledge and it's in different language. They are uh, not native speaker of English, but they study everything in English, engineering, medicine, and they have a, so. And also we can study Quran and we can understand the book. And if there is any problem, we ask to know what we didn't understand. Rabbana wabathihim. This is very important step to build the knowledge, very important step to build the uh, building of uh, moral the building of spirit the building of connection to Allah every building there is a pillar and there is completed building and there is a way to do it and if the pillars not strong enough the roof will fall down the roof will fall down this is a rule this is a rule ومن يرغب عن ملة إبراهيم إلا من سفيها نفسه and anyone deviate from this way he is he is stupid he is uh, the person who makes a fool of of him of himself 
And after this, Allah Azza wa Jal told us also about the Prophet Ismail when uh, Allah mentioned in ayah number 133 of Surah uh, Al-Baqarah when أَمْ كُنْتُمْ شُهَدَاءَ إِذْ حَضَرَ يَعْقُوبِ الْمَوْتِ Or where you are witnesses when death approached Jacob when he said to his sons what will you worship after me and they said we will worship your God and the God of your father Abraham and Ismail and Ishaq one God and we are Muslim in submission to him and this is very important Yaqub the prophet is at the point of the death He didn't ask them about the money. He didn't ask them about the land. He, did. He asked them about the most important point in his life and in their life. What you will worship after me. And now they know the way. They said, we will worship your Lord and the Lord of your father, Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq. And here I would like to clarify some important point. Those uh, uh, children of Yaqub, those children of Yaqub are his children and his uh, grandchildren. Uh, and when he asked them, they told him in order, Ibrahim, Ismail, Ishaq. What does that mean? Uh, Ishaq to them is his, their grandfather. Uh, But Ismail is uncle. Ismail. But they mention Ismail before they mention Ishaq. Why this? Because they know there is spiritual order. Ibrahim, Ismail, Ishaq. You know? And every time it mentioned in the Quran, the connection and the relation of spirit and knowledge is much more important the connection and the relation of blood for this reason as i said all this ayah the ayah number 133 give us how much important because as i said all those children uh, ismail to them is uncle but ishaq to them is father and, and grandfather you know this is the main line but they keep mentioning ibrahim and ismail and ishaq and they didn't ibrahim ishaq and ismail yani No, it is not. They keep order. And this is very important uh, point we have from ayah number 133. And after that, Allah mentioned in ayah 136, very important point. Very important point. What is this point? All human of the earth, you have one faith. You have one son. All of you drink one water. Did the people in the China drink water different? It's H2O, the same water. They breathe the oxygen. Everyone from humankind breathe the oxygen. Everyone from humankind under one sun. Everyone in humankind had the same design, two eyes, two hand. And also humankind have one God, have one creator have one they have to worship and this is what Allah insists in this ayah 136 قولوا آمنا بالله وما أنزل إلينا وما أنزل إلى إبراهيم وإسماعيل وإسحاق ويعقوب والأسباط say O Muhammad say O believer say Everyone of a humanity should say, we have believed in Allah and what has been revealed to us and what has been relieved to Abraham and Ismail and Ishaq and Jacob and to the descendants and what was given to Moses and Jesus and what was given To the prophets from their Lord, we make no differences. We make no distinction between any of them. And we are Muslims 
to him. Believe me. Believe me. This ayah should be apart from the law of the United Nations. Yes, of United Nations, of all the world. Because this ayah is give all the people, most of the religion, all over the people, they believe in this. They believe in this in their tongue, but in their action, everyone fabricated to him something else. How much we need to drink, to drink the pure water. How much we need to breathe the real oxygen. How much we need to listen and understand to the wisdom of the heaven to the wisdom of Allah, to the wisdom of the word of Allah. May Allah give you khair and afiyah. May Allah accept from all of you. And inshallah, we will continue with our trip with the Prophet Ismail, the father of Muslims, the father of Prophet Muhammad, and the one who built with his father the central of faith and the central of iman al kaaba subhan rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al mursalin walhamdulillah rabbil alamin al fatiha a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahi ar-rahman ar-rahim allahumma ya rabbal alamin nas'aluka al-'afwa wal-'afiyah wal-mu'afaat ad-da'imah fi ad-din wa dunya wa al-akhirah lana wa li walidat samira and to all the muslim and to all our Uh, children oh Allah help us and forgive us oh Allah pure our soul oh Allah help us to make the real dhikr and to make the real prayer and to worship in the way you love to worship in it oh Allah accept from us all our action all our ibadat all our deeds and oh Allah accept our uh, repentance Indeed, you are the all-knowing. You are the all-hearing. You are the one who accepts the repentance. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen al-fatiha.